Before we start, please take one minute to read this disclaimer. Um, this is a training. No individual advice or recommendations will be given on specific instruments. So please take 20 seconds to, to read this and then we comply with that. Um, important also, no rights can be derived of the information given during the seminar. So please take a minute. Okay, I think you've all uh, read it. What are we going to do tonight? As I said, first of all, a short introduction to the, for the people that don't know us. Um, I wanna show you who's taking care of you. Um, I'm gonna go through basically the start of becoming a client or an investor with us, because we don't see you as a client, we see you as an investor, as, as somebody that is a part of us. Um, then we go through how to enter the account, general usability of the platform. We're gonna look at how to find the correct instrument, many frequently asked questions, setting up a watch list, product overview, how to use the screens, how to buy a stock. We will show you an explanation of the trade ticket. Many frequent questions can be found easily within the trade ticket. You don't need a lot of uh, 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 knowledge to be able to use that trade ticket optimally. How to use the screener. It's like when you go and look for a hotel, how to set up your charts. We're gonna look at the strategies button for specific option trading. Um, we're going to show you slightly how to trade foreign exchange, how you can hedge positions. We can show you where to find orders, eh, where you find your positions. We can ask questions. Okay, I placed an order. Where can I find it? All those topics will be touched. And please, as I said before, ask questions during the seminar. If you have a specific problem that you encounter, Liam will write the questions down. And at the end of the session, I will go and touch them with you. Okay. During the session, I also will launch... Uh, every five or 10 minutes, a question uh, based on uh, uh, the platform. So just to, uh, to have a bit of uh, entertainment going, so you know also uh, a little bit more based on those questions, what it is that we offer, and I hope you, I hope you enjoy this. Okay, let's get started. Um, who is taking care of you and your account? This is the back office of Saxo Bank. Basically the backbone, your account, your banking structure is with Saxo Bank. Saxo Bank is a Danish bank. Uh, one of the, the safest banks in the world. Um, Denmark, one of the safest countries to have a banking account nowadays. So this is the backbone of Saxo Bank and who's taking care of you on a daily basis. This is the team here in the office. And uh, we miss Liam here because he just started in March, but Liam is uh, actually maybe the most important person. So we've got Kasper Hausmann many years already at, uh, at Bing Bank. We have Femke Utrecht taking care of the marketing and organizing events just like this one. You got myself, uh, also 11 years at, at, uh, at Bing and Taco, uh, unmissable, uh, one of the better account managers here in the office as well. So um, these are the people that you can, uh, can reach out to on a daily basis. We don't have a call center. If you call, one of those four persons will always uh, pick up the, the phone for you. Um, what are we doing for you as an extra service? So actually in 2004, we started educating investors in collaboration with the University of Maastricht. In 2020, we still teach at the University of Marbella. So our philosophy is to share knowledge that we gain on a daily basis because you never stop learning. We learn every day from people something new. And we try to share that with you as an investor. Of course, due to the COVID-19 situation, physical meetings have been reduced. We can't sit with groups of clients as we love to do in the back of our office. We do it face-to-face -face if allowed, or we do it via this way on a webinar basis. We created to keep you post them to keep you informed. A lot of new initiative. Casper has a daily uh, financial update on YouTube. We weekly tape a market reporter's uh, video. It's a 10 minute vlog about everything that is happening in the market. Keep you up to date about specific uh, uh, topics, uh, the news of companies, the elections, COVID-19, the effects on the market. We have, of course, the weekly columns. We have webinars as we gave one uh, two or three weeks ago, specifically on investing in bizarre times. And of course, we have daily ongoing support from uh, Taco and myself in the office for any queries and questions that you, uh, that you might have. Okay, so today our service is basically, and the platform is like an ocean full of treasuries, but if you only swim on the surface, you will never find them. And that is, uh, I, hope you, I hope you like that sentence because it's, it's the truth. If you only use the platform and you use only our service to a limited uh, level, then, then you will never know how far and how good we, we might be able to help you. I think it's time to get started. Um, we go into the platform now, so I'm gonna change my screen. I hope that all goes well, I think so, yes. 
this is our website. So from here, you enter your accounts. Initially, if you don't have an account, you can open an account here on the top right via the open an account section. So that allows you to open an account within five minutes. You have to leave your personal details. And at the end of the process, you need to upload a copy of your ID and something that confirms your address. Um, to log in, you can log in to three different platforms. We have the Saxo Investor, we have the Saxo uh, Trader Go, and the Saxo Trader Pro. Today, we're only going to talk about the Saxo Trader Go platform. So, how do you enter? You click on login, click here on login to Saxo Trader Go, and you find this section here. You type in your username, you type in your password, and automatically you will be guided to the platform. I've done it already to not waste too much time on logging in. So when you come in, this is the first view that you have of the platform. This is basically the trading section of Saxo Trader Go. So how to enter and activate your account? Once you have your account opened, the first thing that you have to do is answer some risk warnings. It's very important. It's like taking a little driving license test to know which buttons to touch. We want to know how well informed you are to be able to warn you if you're taking on a position or a product that is actually not suitable for you we need to show you we need to point that out eh? we need to protect you as an investor it's like driving a ferrari it's a beautiful car if you only drive in first gear on a big highway you have to do weird things to make an accident the same thing here if you don't know how to use this platform you might get into trouble and we try to help you to avoid it once the account is set up, you choose your time zone, you can change always, if you think, if you change your mind, in the settings section, you can change, for example, the region, if you move to another country, you can change the color eh, from light to dark. I will leave it to dark today because it's better for you to, to follow it. You can see it better uh, on the screen. Um, there's many possibilities here within um, uh, the, the settings section, for example, many times clients, okay, I sold something, but I still see it in the portfolio. That is because, so that's very important what I'm saying here, but it's a very frequently asked questions. Clients, when you sell, for example, in this portfolio here at the bottom, you see Royal Dutch Shell. If I sell these positions now, tomorrow morning, they will be in my portfolio till the end of the day, and it will show here closed. And it might sometimes be confusing. Hey, did I sell them? Do I have them still in my portfolio? You have sold them because it says closed. If you don't want to have that line until the end of the day in your portfolio, what you need to do is switch real-time netting off. And so that basically means you can hold multiple -mode positions in the same instrument, but by doing the netting in opposite directions, we net it off directly. So at the same moment you sell something, it will be uh, uh, netted on the bank account or on your uh, portfolio overview section. Um, very important also, we have trade signals, which I will touch in a minute. Um, here you can see the regional settings for the countries. If you are, uh, this session is in English, but if you like to prefer to speak in Dutch, you can change the language easily here to the Netherlands, uh, to Netherlands. If you're German, you can change it to German, to Deutsch. Uh, you can speak French. You can set up the platform in over 28 languages, which is nowadays absolutely fantastic. Um, the time zone, very important. Uh, yesterday I was speaking with a client, says, yeah, my, my charts don't go with the current time. That is because the time zone is not properly set up. So you have to put the time zone to where you are at the moment. So if you're in Europe, you set the time zone. If you're in Spain or you're in Amsterdam, or Madrid, Paris, you change it to GMT plus one, obviously, because then the charts will go as you wish them uh, they should be going. Trading products. Within this section, you can set up all the different products you can trade. If you think Forex is not my, my cup of tea, you can click it out and automatically you will not be shown any Forex. If you like to trade not in CFD or you don't like to trade in CFDs, you click out there. If you like to trade equities only, you click out all this position. If you're an option investor or an option trader, you don't have to see the bonds, obviously. So for this training, I will leave all the instruments selected. Then you have a lot of chart settings. There's no time today, because we're already 15 minutes on the way, to touch all the different settings of the chart. I will touch the main settings with you uh, when we get to the chart uh, part of the program. Notifications, you can get emails, price alerts, so on specific stocks. If you think, okay, Amazon today, Wednesday is going up 5%, if I'm not wrong, I want to have a warning when Amazon hits 3,300, for whatever reason. 
You can add your email, you can get a price alert, which I'll show you in a minute. Here you can set it at the alert section of the platform. System info, that is basically about you, your user ID, and all those sorts of, uh, sorts of data. Okay, so that is with regards to setting up your account. Very important to do that initially. Take your time, because it's a beautiful platform. Like I said, deep dive, what is important for you? And if you don't find it easy, please let us know. General usability of the platform. How does it work? So the main screen is this, the trading section. This screen is built up out of three windows. You've got your watch lists, you've got your product overview, and below here you have your positions, right? So that is that. But I think it's time to ask you, first of all, a question. We're gonna ask the first question. So we all know Saxo Bank is a Danish bank. But what is the GDP of Denmark? Okay. We almost all voted for that question. Okay, I'm gonna close the poll now. Okay, very good. So what is important to realize, what I mentioned at the beginning, and I'm taking a little bit of a sidestep here, Saxo Bank is a Danish bank and Denmark has a debt to the GDP of only 33%. If we compare that to other countries in Europe, for example, Spain, at this moment, they're at 125% debt. If you look at the United States, they're even higher than that. So Denmark is a very safe and secure country. And everybody says, yeah, but I'm protected if I have my money in this or this bank by the government because they have a guarantee to 100,000 euros. Yes, obviously, but if the government is in trouble, who's gonna take care of that deposit guarantee system? Okay. So that was that. Let's return to the uh, session. Um, so, how to find the correct instrument? The good thing about the, the, the platform is that you can find with, within nearly 40,000 different instruments and 40 markets, 36 uh, stock exchanges around the world, it's very easy to find the right instrument. How do you do that? Obviously, at the top, it says here, find instrument. So you click on here and you say Amazon. And you will see it gives all instruments that have the name Amazon into it. So what is important is that you realize that you're buying it on the correct market. So Amazon, for example, if you click on the little plus in front, you can buy Amazon on the NASDAQ. You can buy Amazon on the Deutsche Börse in Germany. Or if you wish, you can buy it in Milan. So you see, it's very important to realize, hey, I'm looking for maybe Alibaba or uh, Tencent. You can buy it via uh, ADR directly in uh, China, or in the United States, sorry, but you can also uh, buy it directly in Hong Kong or on the Chinese stock market. So always click on the little plus to see where we have listings and find the right listing that you're looking for. Okay, so we click on Amazon and you will see that the information of Amazon will appear in the right top window. So that is basically the product overview section. Another thing what is important is if you are looking to set up, if you're only, for example, well, I'm from the Netherlands and I like to see a Dutch AEX index. So I only want to see the 25 stocks of the Dutch stock market. How do I set that up? You click on new list, and you say, for example, okay, this is the goal, the Dutch stocks. And you create a list. You click on create. And automatically you will have a empty list. Now it's up to you to, this, to add the Dutch stock. So you go to add instruments, you say stocks by region, and you say, okay, I'm going to add the stocks from the Netherlands. You click on select all and you add selected instruments automatically all 25 stocks of the Amsterdam Stock Exchange are added to this list, okay? So that is setting up a watch list. Let's go back to the US stocks. So here we have, for example, Bank of America. Today, Bank of America is going down 2.7% at this current time at a quarter to eight at night. The product overview gives you all the information you need 
to be able to make a decision. If you know a little bit about investing, this section will allow you to make your analysis. At the top, you see the last traded price, the net change, all the information here, and an analyst rating. It's not an analyst from ourselves. It's not Liam or Taco or Casper from the office. No, it's somebody from an investment bank that has a clear opinion. If you want to know for sure who that is, or you're interested in who that is, you click on analysis, and you see that the average analyst consensus, in this case, on Bank of America is a strong buy. And the average price target is $30.90. Yeah. The one-year upside potential is 25% for this specific stock. And as I said again, it's a consensus. It's not an analyst rating of ourselves. It's an analyst rating of, in this case, the Wall Street analysts. Okay, so you see 22 days ago, this person of Oppenheimer increased the price target to $38. Okay, go back to the summary. So it gives you all the information about the stock. You have a little chart here. Click on it, you can change the time frame. You click further down, you have trade signals, which we'll touch in a minute, and you have all the news in which is Bank of America, in this case, mentioned. Today, we had three mentions on Bank of America. Obviously, that every day there's some mentioning on this specific stock. And all the way at the bottom, you have the information specifically on Bank of America. So what it is, Bank of America, we all know, is one of the largest financial institutions in the United States, at 3.2.3 trillion of assets and um, 214 billion market cap, etc. the price earning, dividend yield, all that information will be shown to you at the bottom of the product overview section. If we then click here, I've shown you the analysis. If we click on fundamentals, fundamentals basically indicates easily how this specific company is performing. Okay? It's, it's like a look into the kitchen. What are the ingredients? So we see the sales of Bank of America is 91.2 billion, the net income 27.4, total assets 2.43, total debt 265 billion. Oh my God, it's a lot. And so all these different informations will be shown to me for earnings per share. So they're making $2.75 per share. And that was in 2019. Obviously, we can't look into the future. We can give an estimate, but we don't do that here. Return on equity and the debt capital ratio. So all the fundamental data that you need to make a decision whether this stock fits to your criteria are shown in this specific section. If we then um, click on trade on the right side, you will get a trade ticket. Trade ticket, pretty simple, but I do want to touch it because we do get frequently some questions about it. If you don't take the subscription on the market data, you will see 15 minutes delayed. So that means that the prices are delayed with 15 minutes, obviously. The type of order, you can place a market order, but by clicking on these little arrows, you can go left or right and left and right, and you can all sorts of order types, right? If you need specific information on these order types, please let us know. Uh, the trailing stop is a very nice, basically specific order to place a transaction to protect some profit or to, to make sure that losses don't occur further, et cetera. So if we are going to buy Bank of America, you want to buy 100 shares, right? We see here at the bottom that the cost of that transaction will be that the nominal value of the trade is 2,413 and you see the cash available is 118,665. So I can buy this at the moment. If I place order, I'm going to buy Bank of America now with a trailing stop. Right? If I rather prefer, and then you always get a confirmation here on the right side of the screen. If I say, no, I don't want to place them with a trailing stop, I rather place a direct market order, buy 100 shares, place order, you see that, hey, by doing this, I bought directly 100 shares Bank of America, and they will appear in my position overview. Yeah. So the trade ticket allows you to place trades in your specific way. Very important. If you click here on this eye of information, it allows you to see the costs of the transaction. What are we charging you to keep an account with us? And also the specific information on the instrument. What exchange is it listing on? What is the sector? What is the minimum trading amount required? The tick size, the risk rating. That is very important to show you how much I can buy. 
um, you see the uh, opening times of the markets estimated. That is local time, of course, in this case, New York. Um, you see that for the next three days. So it's very important to see that the automated market is always from 9.30 to 4 p.m. Huh? That is the order ticket. I hope that is clear. It's not very difficult, but I just want to make sure that you really understand it, that that, that, that goes well, because we do get frequent questions on Am I doing this right? And we understand that because doing a transaction in something of two and a half thousand euros is not like buying a new pair of shoes on Amazon. It's a, a, it's a big deal. And, and please, if you need some support or assistance, we are here to help you. Okay, the next thing, um, the charts. We are gonna to touch that a little bit later, but as we are here now, I'm going to talk about it already because we are in this right top window. And I think it's it's good to stay here before we go to another window. Within the chart section, you can set up the chart in whatever way you want. So what are you seeing here? First of all, you see candlesticks. Well, people that don't use candlesticks might find that a little bit confusing. So say I click here on this little icon and I wanna see a line. I change that easy to a line. And you see what's also nice is you can see here, in the chart that I bought these shares at this point. So it shows you in the chart with this little arrow, the moment I bought Bank of America just now. Okay? So in the chart, you have a reflection of your personal transaction in this specific stock. Um, if you say, okay, fine, but I don't need to see uh, one man month uh, charge. I like to see one day and I like to see them in three months. I like to see a period of a quarter. Well, oh, you have it here. There's actually an indicator here, which I will remove. But this is a clean chart. No further information, just the line of the stock and my initial position. You can also take this little box out within the set setting section of the uh, charts. This is just the information. So if you scroll down over the line, you'll see the prices, the closing prices at those specific moments. Please bear in mind, this is a demo account. So in a real-time account, you have more information here you can also see the open close the high the low all that sort of information if you are using specific indicators for example i use a simple one in this uh, trading session um the bollinger bands i click on bollinger bands and you see we get the bollinger bands added to the uh, little chart section here if you prefer to have your screens in a separate section so you can click first of all on full screen like that, you see that? Then you have the chart in your full screen and by scrolling down, of course you can't see that now because you can't see my fingers, we see here. Now we all of a sudden zoomed out a little bit, we went backwards and we see the big drop here in March because of COVID and we see the slight recovery of uh, uh, Bank of America. And also with the indicators you see here, it's touching, so it's a wait a moment to get out and here is a moment at the green, uh, for example here, to think about, hey, should I get in? So that's a way to um, to check uh, to check this the chart. If we click here, we can also take the charts out of the platform. It might take a little bit because we have a lot of with with broadcasting the section the session today. Um, we take a lot of bandwidth, but here you see we are actually having the chart outside of the platform. So if you are using several screens you can see you see you can move this yeah? or if you want to say okay i have bank of america here but i want to have a new chart you see hey all of a sudden i have two or if i want to have another chart i click here and i all of a sudden have three or i say i want another one and i also have four yeah? you click on done and by clicking here on this little uh, um, uh, glasses you can add instruments so say i have bank of america there but on the other side i want to see amazon you click on amazon and automatically you will see the chart of Amazon. Of course, you need to then set up the chart again uh, based on your criteria. If you don't want that, um, you can also say, hey, I don't want to see this. You click on add, remove, sorry, remove, and you say copy. And then all of a sudden you see that you click on done, that this chart is copied. So if I now tick on Amazon and I have my specific set of indicators showing when to buy my stocks, you say, hey, all of a sudden I have the Bollinger Bands, but then for Amazon. So you can set up the screen and copying the charts, copying your specific settings in such a way that it allows you to use them in the most proper way. It's very easy, yeah? 
Um, also by clicking here, find instrument automatically in the bottom here. I want to see Air France uh, KLM or well, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We take, um, what shall we take? Uh, Goldman Sachs. Okay, here, Goldman Sachs, and it loads the chart of Goldman Sachs. Okay, so that is with regards to the charts. I hope it's clear. If you click back on this little screen here, automatically it puts the charts back into the, and now you see the, the previous um, order we placed, the trading stop, you saw a pop up here at the right of the screen. That was basically, so we see now at this moment, we have 200 shares of Bank of America. If I don't like to have these three uh, charts here, I can easily delete them by clicking here and click on remove, remove, and remove, and the charts will be again deleted out of the chart box. Okay, so that is with regards to the charting. Use that and 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 think about getting them onto another screen because it would also help you to um, uh, if you if you have not such a high bandwidth to to keep the speed of your internet. Okay. Okay, that is with regards to the to the charts. Um, options I will touch in a minute. First of all, I want to go with you to a functionality that I love myself, which is the screener. The screener is, I think we all in our life booked a flight or we booked a hotel room or something like that. And um, if you know how to use booking or how to use uh, eDreams, etc., cetera, um, you know that nowadays you can filter down. But it's not only with that, it's also when you're looking for a, uh, a new house, you can say, I want a house in that area for that price with that much square meters. Uh, so many bedrooms, etc. So the same thing you can do with the Saxo Trader Go platform. Within the screener section, you can add filters. So first of all, you have to find, of course, the, hey, I have here World ETS, but I'll make a new list for you. The instrument that I'm looking for. Today, we stick to stocks. We're not going to overcomplicate ourselves, we stick to stocks. And then you're going to say, okay, I'm looking for stocks in um, uh, uh, currencies i only want to invest in uh, let's say uh, euros and i only want to invest in us dollar apply all the other stocks all the other markets will be filtered out then we click on filter and we say okay we're looking for uh, analyst consensus we look for only i believe what that wall street is right why would i doubt that i believe in the consensus so i'm looking for stocks that have a strong buy and a buy advice or a consensus. The list will be reduced even further. The next thing is add a filter. I say I only want to invest in stocks with a price earning. Yeah, so I'm not paying too much. We're only buying cheap stocks between 10 to 15 and below 10. Click on apply and automatically the list will reduce even further. But I still haven't made a decision on what I'm going to buy. Then I'm going to add a filter and say I am only looking to, you can filter down on sectors, but you can also filter down on industries. And the industry is really nice because there's such a, a huge amount of in industries where you can look from. So if we click, for example, on broadcasting, I don't know if there's coming anything up. It might be that we are confronted with nothing, but let's click on broadcasting. We're broadcasting this webinar, so let's get broadcasting, apply. And there's no instruments. You'll, you'll all see that. So you see, I haven't prepared this. Eh? I uh, look for biotech. No stop. We look for... Let's say banks. Yeah, here we are. So we see all of a sudden we have six stocks within the sectors that we uh, uh, selected, banks, biotech, and, um, and um, broadcasting that fit our criteria. We can filter further down. I say only want companies that have a dividend percentage of, let's say, I, I like to receive dividend between two and a half and 5%. Okay, two less. And you see now, of course, all of a sudden I have here UBS, Bank of America, JP Morgan, and Bank of America. So we all know, of course, that banking stocks at the moment are cheap because of the fact, well, the results of last year and the analyst ratings, etc. But that we're not going to touch today. But this is basically how you can use the screener to find those stocks that find your criteria. Yeah. So think for yourself what stocks you are interesting in, interested in. And, and use this specific tool because it's absolutely fantastic. You can really, really filter down um, uh, to get your selection of stocks. You're basically doing the work of what an asset manager does for you, right? 
If you need help for that, please let us know. We will help you. I think it's time for the second question. Let's do that here. Well, let's skip that question. Uh, let's move on because I see it's already five past eight. So we're going to continue with the, with the session. It's better to, to keep going. So we touched already the screen and we talked about the charts. Um, what I want to talk with you now is about the strategies for the option investors. So um, if we look at the option chain, so within the Saxo Trader Go, it's very easy to place option transactions. And you find the options here, the option chain for people that only buy or sell options, you can even forget about the watch list and drag that all the way down here, right? And you only see the option chain. And then you can add specific columns to it. So if you're interested in um, uh, the gamma, you can add it. If you think the theta is important for me because I wanna know how much money is going out of the option premium on a daily basis, you can add the data. So all those elements you can add to these specific columns. If then we're going to look to, let's say an option that is still open. So the SPX is the S&P 500 index. And this is gonna be very complicated for people that never traded options before, but for people that use options and are, are using combination orders, it's very important uh, that you realize that you can use it by using this strategies button, you can place up to four legs of options in one go. Four legs in one go. I'll show you. We click here on iron condor. And you don't need to know what an iron condor is. I will explain to you tomorrow or later this week because an iron condor is an option strategy, but it allows you to sell options and buy options. For instance, I'm going to sell the S&P 500 at the moment is around 3,350, 3,400. I'm going to sell a 3,500 call. And this is important for people that use option strategies because you can easily select the strike prices that you like to, um, like to sell and buy. So for instance, you look for the 3,500 call, scrolling down. here and i'm going to sell the 3000 put scroll down here we are so that is two parts of the strategy so the iron condor if you can look it up to google or i explain to you like i said later if we solve the call and the put that is a risky transaction if you don't use um, uh, these two legs around it yeah, because you're selling four legs to the market at the same time we're going to protect ourselves and we're going to do that by buying a put option and if you never use options and you're not interested in using options you can go for a coffee i have a sip of my coffee as well so then the most important thing is that you, for, for those people that invest in, in trading options that you can sell buy in one transaction four legs at the time so i'm going to buy the 2900 puts and i'm going to buy the 3000 to scroll down because it's far is a lot of series 600 cool so this is an iron color i have risk at the 3000 but i can protect myself by buying the 2,900 puts. So my maximum risk is 100 points. You don't need to understand this. People that use this strategy will understand it. It's an, it's an ability of the platform to sell four options at the same time, buying or selling, that's up to you. You'll see directly this construction, this option strategy gives me approximately 30 euros and 60 cents. So if I sell one contract of each one of these options, for the 20th of November, I received 3,860 US dollars. You know what? The margin impact is 8,347 euros. I have 117,000 left on my account. We're gonna place this transaction. 
37.50, we are going to ask. So I will be receiving. Make it 37. So the transaction will execute. Click on sell. You see the strategy, iron condor, buy to open, sell to open, sell to open, buy to open. The cost of the transaction, if I click on confirm, the transaction is executed. And you will see here at the bottom that the listings options appear here. So your portfolio overview indicates, you can open that, you can close that, what you have at that specific moment in the portfolio. At, at all time, you can see the results on those specific positions. So what I want to just explain for those people watching trading options, the abilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. You can click on strategies. I will do it one more time. You can see all different sorts. You can do a vertical, a back raise, a calendar diagonal, a simple straddle. So buying the same strikes for the pull and the put or selling the same strikes for the pull and the put. The strangle, you can set up a butterfly that, that limits your profit at a certain price and protects your maximum risk. Yeah, if you click on here, the butterfly, a lot of people that trade options know what it is. You buy a call, you sell a call, you buy a call. And so you have to deliver at 3470, sticking to the S&P. You're allowed to buy at 3465. You're allowed to buy at 3475. So limited upward potential. Like I said, I'm not going to deep dive into that. But please let us know if we can help you with option strategies because we have a lot of knowledge and a very good system to trade your options. Okay. I think that was enough with regards to the options, right? Let's dive a little further into this specific section here at the bottom of the platform. Many times clients ask us, so if we go back to the watch list and we go to Apple and we click on that and you go to the product overview. And we see at the current moment, Apple is at 114.90. We click on trade. And we are going to buy 100 shares of Apple at a limit price of 113. GTC very frequently asks, what is GTC? It means good to cancel. So good to cancel. This, this order will stay in the system until I cancel it. GTC is good to cancel. You can change it obviously for the day. You can take it to one week, one month, end of the week, uh, end of the month, end of the year, or you can also select the date and put it until your pension, that, that order is in the system, right? So let's say the end of the year. Place the transaction, confirm, and the order is placed. So I see this is in Dutch because my previous settings were in Dutch and I didn't log out again. I place the trade to buy 100 shares of Apple at the limit 130, good till the end of the year. Okay, confirm that, I've seen that, and that will also be logged. So the fact that I've seen that specific notification will be logged. So I'm always aware, okay, what have I done? I've seen this, okay. So if you're in a rush, you know, you can always go to the activity log, which I'll show you in a minute, to be able to review what you've done. So that order is now here. You click on orders, and that specific transaction is here. You see, Apple, you can also search here. If you have a lot of orders outstanding, you can look for the specific stock. At this moment, I only have one order outstanding. What you can do is say, okay, Apple, it's gonna take a while before it hits 113. I'm, I want to have, I want, to, I want them now. If you click on market, and I change to market. Hey, and I bought 100 shares of Apple straight away. I go to my stocks. Hey, there they are. Extremely important is also to think in risk because it's the only thing you can manage. If I go here to take profit and stop loss, directly, I, I bought them now for um, 114 uh, something, 114.91. Uh, okay, if they go to 116, I'm willing to sell them. I take my profit. But in the other turn, if they go to 113, I want to get rid of them. I don't want to take more losses. So I can add a take profit and a stop loss directly in the system. Place order, confirm. And you see already again the confirmation. Okay. 
and within the platform, you will see that those will appear. Close positions, they will be here. Hey, if you close the position, so let's close something so you see that actually happens. So Bank of America, we bought them before, we're losing $35, we're gonna close them. Let's do that. Market, close position. Hey, you see the disappear there. Have the confirmation here, click on okay. Go to close positions and you see the 200 shares in two lots of Bank of America are sold, right? Very interesting. If you prefer to have more or less information within the columns, you can add easily all that information. So you see here the columns that are shown and you can see the available columns. So if I wanna see the exposure, that is basically the risk I have in a specific currency, I, I drag that one up. Also important, if I click on double row, my portfolio will be shown in a double row. What you see here is that I've opened Royal Dutch Shell for 10.04 and at current it's at 11.57. So this is what I've initially paid for the stock and this is the price it has at the moment. The number of stocks and again you can add and take profit and losses easily. Um, so that is where to find your orders, how to use the system and you see here this is the profit and the stop loss that we put in before on Apple. And so you go to orders, there's two orders placed for you to be able to take your profit at 116 and take the loss at 130. Okay, so I think this is the section of the platform. We only touched, we're all, almost talking for 45 minutes and this is, we only touched the first page, which is the trading section. This is where you will be working from. This is what you will be using right, to place your trades um, uh, to look at the market and all that sorts of things. Let's go to alerts. On, this is the final topic on this specific page I want to touch. So if I look, for example, let's say um, BP, British Petroleum. Let's say Amazon. Add alerts, Amazon. that okay so i'm going to add an alert what sort of type of alert do i want to put in the percentage of change so if i say okay if amazon goes up two percent active i repeat that that doesn't need to be repeated for one week buy or there's a change in the stock from the moment i'm placing this it's it's going up more than two percent apply i will get an email saying that Amazon has increased 2% in my favor or in my disadvantage from the current moment. So the alerts are very useful if you are following something, but you're working or you're not uh, capable of looking at uh, the platform all day long, you can set an alert and it allows you to, um, to, to, to at night or the day after. If you're trading, of course, on a daily basis, the alerts are maybe not that relevant, but for people that are working or are not on a daily basis active with um, the, um, with the platform, the alerts are a fantastic tool. Okay, also, last thing on the first page, at the bottom, you see here your cash available. And so your total cash, your cash available, that's the cash that you have minus the margin requirement. So you see, at the moment, I can spend of the 117,000 euros on this account, 107,000 euros. The, the total account value, so if I liquidate all the positions, is 141,000. Why is that? Because I have specific CFD positions, I have listed options that require margin. Yeah? So that is very important to keep an eye on. For people that trade on margin, here at the bottom, you'll be seeing the margin utilization. At this moment, I'm using 12.7% of the total margin that I'm allowed uh, to use of the 100%. The moment I hit 100%, all margin required positions will be closed. That is not to bully you, to, 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 uh, to be nasty, that is just to protect you. If that happens, or you see that you're at 85%, add cash or reduce positions. Can't say it enough. Add cash or reduce positions. But please don't come to us and say, my positions are closed. Why have they done that? That's just to protect you. The only reason that we do that is to protect you, not for anything else. Because sometimes people don't know the risk. And you don't know what's going to happen 
tomorrow. Everybody I spoke to this afternoon was surprised that the market was up. Okay? The Nasdaq was up nearly 4%, and Amazon 5%. Why? Because we don't know what's happening in the United States still. It's just based on hope. Tomorrow, it can be the completely other way around. So using that uh, uh, margin uh, utilization percentage, extremely important if you use options or you trade CFDs and all those sorts of instruments to manage your margin utilization and to be able to add cash or reduce positions. Also, what I like a lot is you say, okay, I have 141,000 on the account. Perfect, very nice. I've done well because I started with 100,000, but I also want to make sure that if it goes down and I'm on a holiday, I always stay with 125,000. So I can set an account value sheet of 125,000 euros. I need to accept that when it hits 125,000 or 124,900, all my positions will be closed. So it's a total protection of your assets, of your wealth. It's pretty unique because everything will be at that moment liquidated. So if I have a certain amount of profit and I'm happy with that profit, I can put an account value shield and automatically when it hits that level of assets, my assets will be sold. My options, my shares, all the individual positions will be closed immediately. Okay. Um, I have one more outstanding point, and that is with regards to uh, trading FX and uh, CFD. Um, like I said, we don't give any specific trading ideas tonight, but we are here to show you everything that the platform is about. So with regard to the first page on the trading section, I want to show you, we are here with Apple, how you can also use a CFD. And please be aware, this is a leveraged product. You can lose all the money you invest if you don't use it properly. The CFD is an instrument that allows you to trade on margin. A lot of times people call us, hey, what is the margin on this CFD? It's not a risky product. Everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people buy a house with a mortgage, it's exactly the same. Or if you have a stock portfolio and you take a loan, you have a credit on that portfolio, exactly the same. You can click here on the eye of information, you click on instrument and you see the margin on this specific stock, in this case, Amazon is 10%. So that 10% is what I need to hold on my account to buy with a CFD Apple shares. I'll show you. So let's say we place a market order, buy 100 shares. That has a nominal value in the market of 100 times 114.82 is 11,483. However, I have a Euro account. I only need to hold 10% and please, Bear in mind, this is a demo account. Normally, you have a larger difference, a bigger difference between the initial margin and the maintenance margin. So normally, the initial margin is the margin you need to have available on the account to place the transaction. So for instance, 20%. And then once you have the position, you need to hold 10% of the underlying value. If the value goes against you, then obviously, you need to either add cash or it doesn't affect you because you have enough portfolio value against it. But it's very important that with 1,000 euros, you're buying a position of 11,500. Many people that are watching may be not interested in this, but I do want to show it to you because it's also a way to maybe diversify your portfolio. And very important people, as I mentioned before, use the take profit and the stop loss ability of the platform because it allows you to protect you from further or hard hits in the market. So let's do this. Take the profit. Apple 117, and we take the stop loss at 112. Placing the, the transaction, automatically I'm buying 100 shares with a CFD in Apple. And automatically you see, I placed actually three trades. The buy, the sell at the top, and the sell at the bottom if it goes wrong. Okay, you'll see that here, the orders. Automatically my position is protected by using the take profit and stop loss ability. Go back to positions and you see them here. Yeah. How does the CFD work exactly as the stock? It's like buying a house with a mortgage. Be careful. If you want to know more, we can help you specifically on uh, explaining you on the risk. If you think that a specific underlying stock will go down, you can also take a short position. Yeah. So if we think Amazon has gone up too much today, Let's take Amazon here.
click on the equity and click on the share and automatically here you can click on the CFD and you will get a CFD trade ticket. Click on the information. As I said, it's a demo account, so the margin is 10%. It's not for real. We're going to sell 100. Hey, this is a huge nominal value, right? Eh? 100 times 3,230 is 329,000 US dollars that I'm shorting in the market. I'm just going to do that. Place this trade, confirm. Okay, here we are. I placed it with a limit. So let's change it to market. Because I don't want to wait. I think it's going to go down now. Change it to market. Okay, positions. I'm changing the screen. Now you see here, I have a short position in Amazon. I opened the position at 3,230.71. What does it mean? If Amazon in three weeks time is at 3,000, I'm making money on that decrease of price. You can do that also to hedge a position. Um, if you have a portfolio, you're going away for a while. I have a portfolio which is which has some certain correlation with, for example, German stocks or with uh, Netherlands stocks. You can add a CFD on the Dutch market for a specific value of your portfolio. You will see if the market goes down, the CFD increases in value. Not going to talk about it more it's only the way that you can use it by clicking on the instrument level you have more information the forex last thing here for example let's say let's say euro usd here we are also again within the product overview you have the euro dollar 11717 i want to place a trade because I think the dollar will get stronger. So the first currency I'm going to buy, 50,000 euros, also again, a margin related transaction. I think the dollar will decrease again in value. And you actually see that euro became a little stronger again today. Yeah, from this morning, euro became a little bit stronger against the dollar. So I'm going to buy, I'm actually going to change 50,000 euros to US dollars with a spot position. Place this now, confirm. And I've actually changed in the market as you can see, 50,000 USD to uh, 50,000 euros to 50,000 USD. So, what happens here if USD becomes weaker or the euro gets stronger? I can simply sell this transaction and take the profit out of that trade. Okay, I think that was enough. I think I touched nearly all instruments um, within the watch list. Obviously, you can also set up if you're trading in bonds, uh, you can set up a list. I show you quickly. Um, I can keep going on for this forever but there's so much in it and I hope I, I, I shown you how to use it properly. The trade bonds, the bonds on developed market, bonds, bonds active, etc. That is all there. Okay, let's go quickly to the research section. We have trade signals. I'm not going to touch that today because it's, it's, uh, it's uh, something that we, we also can give a seminar about. Trade signals are basically signals from a third party, in this case, auto chartist, which allows you to uh, trade based on generated signals. You can select here on the probability and the quality of the signal. So if you think, for me, the probability, I want 100% certainty that Novo Nordisk in this day, in this case, will go up, or the signal is that strong that it has 100% probability that it will go up. You see this is actually already reached. Let's take another one. Rush holding here. This is a short on Rush. 100% probability. It allows you to take a short position and the prediction is that the stock will go down to this little square. You can take your profit, you can take your stop and you can take a short position. It's a way to trade based on tips or tricks, right? From trade signals. News, everything that is happening in the news at the moment, of course, a lot of talk about uh, Boris Johnson, California voters, everything that happens, what you're seeing on the TV all day long, you see it directly within your trading account with us market analysis same thing but it's a little bit more in depth on specific uh, topics so on foreign exchange on specific yeah, here you have a really interesting topic about the u.s election and the check-in of asia what happens in asia tomorrow morning read it use it whatever you need from it it's very very useful um the calendar the calendar is basically to know what is happening tomorrow, what is happening over the next coming days on a macroeconomical level. 
equity section gives you a very clear overview of what is happening in the market. This is uh, uh, just uh, uh, the main stock markets in the world has uh, have a, a reference here. So, for example, in uh, Spain today, the market only went up 0.45 percent, whilst in the rest of Europe we saw increases of nearly 2 percent. France 2.44. It was very funny if you click on France, the Cacaran 40. You see that the gainers will be appearing here and the losers will be appearing there. If you only trade in the UK, you see also here, if there are any signals available, they will appear there. Uh, let me see if I have a market with our signals in Belgium, maybe. Yeah, for example, here, KBC Group has a pennant breakout. You can click on that if you're from Belgium and you like to trade Belgian stocks, you have the information on this. And you see, hey, actually, this transaction, because this is already a signal from the 28th of October, at the moment, we're at the 4th of November. So you see, this is really interesting. Uh, to look at if you trade based on signals, right? Last section, account, gives you the information on everything that's happening into your portfolio. I've added quite some positions uh, uh, during the last uh, hour. Um, gives you the profit and loss, the absolute exposure. So you see my exposure is pretty high because I, of course, use uh, CFD positions here. And that is something people, please be very, very careful with that. And if you don't know how to use it, please reach out to us. Historical reports, your portfolio report in the real-time account, the real account that you have yourself or you are about to open. This information is much more extensive. You have about uh, uh, 15 uh, different reports, also on dividends. You can have uh, specific um, documentation for uh, uh, tax or tax uh, uh, benefits or whatever. Everything is in that uh, uh, section. Account statements, you can select for a specific date. Deposit and transfers. Obviously, easily to find. You click on withdraw cash and you can transfer money back to your bank account. Okay, so you don't need to call us for that. You can do that easily yourself. We're in the platform, withdraw cash, uh, click there, and it will allow you to transfer uh, cash out. And then at last, we have the other section, and this is an interesting activity log. So you can see what you have been doing. Uh, corporate action events, if you have specific voluntary events that you need to vote on or make a selection, you can find it also there. Um, Liam, did we have any questions? Yes. Okay. Quite some questions. Okay, we are just at the edge of the time, but we are going to look at it for a second. Okay, one important question indeed is about the prices. Are option prices delayed? As you probably all know, um, we are supplying the platform, but the market data you need to uh, contract yourself. So if you need specific, if you trade only US stocks, for example, or US options, you need to subscribe. This is a demo section, so I can't show you, but within the account and other, you can go to on your real time account to subscriptions and you can subscribe to any markets. We have on total 36 stock exchanges around the world from South America all the way down to New Zealand. You can trade in South Africa, Poland, all these different countries. So if you want, you need to subscribe for real-time marketing. It is not expensive. It's the same price that you spend on a cup of coffee, but this the coffee disappears in your uh, stomach within the 10 minutes. The prices will, can actually make you money when you have real-time market prices. We're gonna see the amount of the shares of Amazon in, in Germany to see if there are any of you. Um, I will answer that question via email. Is the price for the four options the same when buying at once? No, the price is not the same. Obviously, um, you will have a package price. So the price is big. You can select on the ask, uh, the, the, the bid uh, and the mid price. So the mid price will be reflected at the bottom, but it's always worth to look at it yourself to recalculate whether this is uh, the price you are uh, looking for. Can you close the options jointly too? Yes, you can. Very easy, the same way as you open them, you can close them. Um, protect the portfolio with put options. Yeah, we, we can discuss that face to face. Option buy is not clear for me. I am paying or receiving premium. Okay, this is more specific about trading. I don't want to touch that too much tonight. Um, but if you buy something in life, I never bought something that I got money. So I, if I buy something, I need to pay money and I, ha I, I'm, I can do something for that. So if I buy a beer at the bar, I can drink that beer. Okay? So in return, I receive a beer. If I sell something, an option or a bicycle or a car, I need to deliver that 
object to the buyer. So when you sell something, you receive a premium obliging you to do something. When you buy an option, you have a right. We'll show that face to face with the person um, that uh, asked that question. Okay, this question will also answer face to face. Is it possible to add new private screeners in the platform? Um, it's not possible to add private screeners, but we can always listen. Um, so this is the platform is built by the technical department, as is shown at the beginning of the presentation. If you um, want to have a, a specific screener, which is important for you, then please uh, uh, ask us, and, and we are uh, very happy to, um, uh, to, to, to add it to the uh, uh, to, to the, the, the info box or how you say that <laughs> the collection box of uh, ideas because we, we are building the platform for you. We think we know what you need, but please ask us because in the 38 years that uh, Saxo is uh, on the market, the platform has been improved and improved and improved all the time. Uh, sorry, that's 38, that's 28 years from 1992 uh, that it's been on the market, it's been improved all the time by input of clients. Okay, so that is very important. Um, with regards to, uh, 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 for example, liquidity, don't worry in, on a daily basis. I just checked it for you. I don't know because I had four other questions, but for some reason I don't see them anymore. On a daily basis, $88 trillion are negotiated on the stock markets around uh, uh, the world. So that is an enormous volume if you add it up for, on a yearly basis. So you can always find a buyer for your stocks and you can always find a seller for uh, your uh, stocks. So if you want to sell, you can find a seller if you want to buy something. Any more questions? I have it on the screen here in front of me. You can reach us from the Netherlands on the numbers that you see in front of you, from Spain, from the number that you see also. If you live in the UK, you can also reach out to us. Also, of course, via email, info at Bing Bang for general queries. And if you want to reach out to myself or to Taco, you can also see our email addresses there. I hope this was useful for you. I talked a lot, but that was what it was all about. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you very soon in uh, another webinar. Have a great evening and see you soon.